What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Mario Golf for the Game Boy Color. In the last part we took we took out some of the very last remaining side quests in this game. So we're gonna now go to the Mushroom Kingdom and um play their course because we got invited. This is actually gonna be the finale with a few with a few uh post-game things. We're gonna do a few more match games, but uh they're kind of side things. Princess Peach. Grand Champion Kid is here. Welcome to Mario World, Grand Champion Kid. We would like to welcome you. Thank you for waiting, everyone. Let us begin the tournament. Kid, you kept me waiting. I came here to beat Mario. I don't care about any Grand Champion, does Yoshi. Yeah, she's all right. That's a mean Bowser. Don't say such a thing. Well, this champ better not be wasting my time. Kid will set a get a great score. Well, Kid, okay, we'll begin the tournament. Actually, no, because um, I want to grab something really quick. I think it's around here. Yeah, it's around here. So um, we got a mushroom. One last level up. So um. I guess we can go distance, and uh, that should probably be the last level if we get in the normal game. Maybe about the tournament, but uh, now let's go to the tournament. That's the way to the course. Well, let the tournament begin. Now, this is definitely a lot the hardest of the tournaments. It's basically this game's equivalent of the Mario Open and Mario Golf 64. And it even plays the same music, believe it or not. Now, if we uh, look at the course map, this is Prince of Peace. So this is basically this game's equivalent of the uh, Mario Open and Mario Golf 64. I'm going to use the lower club on that one. Ooh, that's actually nice. Good thing I didn't overshoot that one, but uh, it's a little bit of a tough putt. You, I would suggest maybe get as many birdies as possible because, uh, let's just say, uh, yeah, this, these are all Mario characters out on the roster. So Yoshi, Shy Guy, Baby Mario, Monty Mall, Koopa, Koopa P, Sniff It, Bob Bomb. So yeah, looks like Mario is going to be our main rival. So, uh, but wait, there's Link. Our boy Link's back, and Yugi, and Dory from Mario 64, and Zelda, and McCloud, Fox, and McCloud. There's Bezo from Mario 2. Uh, yeah, even in a Mario one, of course, has to be Zelda references and Star Fox references. But uh, I'm actually gonna use a power shot. But um, probably a good thing I did that. But uh, now this is definitely the hardest of the tournaments, meaning you. The requirement to win this tournament, I don't exactly remember how high it, high it is, but it, much like Mario Open and Mario Golf 64, let's just say it is pretty damn high. So, um, we're gonna try to see if we can uh, get that on the green. Let's see. Oh, we didn't ship that, unfortunately. So we have to, unfortunately, take the par. I think it's like minus nine under par. You have to, you have to have to win this. And look at Mario; he's already at uh, three of them. So uh, he's already at three. So if we look at the course map, this one's a shy guy. So um, I think what we're gonna do is um, we can't really hit it over there. So uh, I'm trying to think of how to hit this. I think mainly just hit it over here and play it safe because it's an interesting map design, but um I'd say it's definitely a hard hole, let's just say. So uh as long as we don't hit it in the semi-rough. Alright, so we got uh 27 yards, so uh I don't think we're gonna reach that green. Actually, we could try it, actually. We could go a little high risk, high reward. We already used two power shots, though. We hit it in the bunker, though, so that, that was not really well. It got us closer to the green, so.
All right, that's an easy birdie. Well, maybe an easy birdie. We're just gonna jack it a little left. Oh yeah. So we're definitely, we're in eighth place right now. Mario's at four and apart. Mario is going to be your main rival, let's just say. And uh, yeah, basically it's that. So um, I'm gonna try to aim it a little leftwards so and also kind of carry the ball upwards so I don't hit it in the water. Oh shit. Okay, that was a good shot. Okay, I'm gonna use a... Nah, I'm gonna use a power shot. Actually, I'm gonna use a two iron. Oh shit, no, no. Well, I didn't hit it. Wait, 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 wait. Do not go in that water. Well, guess what? There is such a thing called the save trick. You cannot really afford to get any bogeys in this tournament, let's just say. But uh, I'm gonna aim it kind of right here. I get a nice power shot for once. I'm gonna hit it in the rough, though, but, um... Or the semi-rough. I'm gonna hit around here. Okay, that's not as bad as the last time. I can afford a car. I probably shouldn't say that too often, but, um... Maybe we're better when we could have chipped that, but, um... Yep. Yep. Save trick. We might have to use it a few times in this tournament, let's say. When I've I did three practice playthroughs in this, and every single time I had to use the save trick at least once. I can't believe I still missed a putt as easy as that one, though, but, um... Ugh, well, uh... Unfortunately, we have to just take the par. Or not! Why am I missing such easy putts so far? Alright, this is the last time I'll use the save trick, and I'll... If I fail this time, I'll just take the bogey. If, they, if we fail this one more time, I'll just take the bogey, but I don't think we, uh... Don't go in the bunker. All right, good. I used the lower club on that one. Right, I'm gonna try something riskier. Let's putt this. Maybe not the brightest idea, though. What is... Okay. Uh, okay. We got a par. All right. I almost thought I missed that a third time. Okay, I need to use a lower club on this one. I hit it in the rough. Oh, okay, this is a bad position. <laughs> uh... Save trick. I think this is probably the best, my best odds of getting on the green. I'm gonna have to just take the par. <laughs> or use the save trick. If I don't make this par, I'm just using the save trick. Which I'm gonna have to do. All right, we're just using the save trick. I got a different plan. I really hate to play this without cheating, but it's like... Sometimes you just gotta, like, uh, use this game's mechanics against it. Well, good news is I didn't hit it in the rough this time. The 
This should go on the green. All right, that's an easy birdie. Oh yeah, easy birdie right there. So we're in sixth place and Mario's got seven under par. Thankfully in the back nine though, he should start fucking up, let's just say. Okay, what's the course view? What's the course map? Um, It looks like this is a thwomp. Um, I'm gonna play a little more safe like here. I'm gonna hit around here. And I'm going to take a straight shot to the green. Hundred and ninety yards, um... Ugh. I think this guarantees it goes over the water, this club. Well, good news is it didn't go in the water, so... Let's try... S I'm... This Definitely worked last time. This didn't work last time, but um, but it didn't this time either. So yeah, we're gonna have to just take the par. If I named it a little lower, would have gone in, but um, unfortunately though, we're gonna have to start getting some birdies. This should make the fairway at least. Don't go on the water, don't go on the water. I don't like that position, though. I don't think I hit that enough. It's gonna go on the green, at least. If we can eagle this... Oh, if we had albatross this, that would've been just as nice. Seems like this is an easy hole to eagle, but uh, we could've definitely used that right now. That Gosh, we're at the fourth place. And the course map here is, uh... It looks like it's Yoshi. Our boy Yoshi. Who is unfortunately not playable in this game. There actually does exist a, uh... Sequel to this game. But only released in Japan, where you can play as Yoshi. Okay, I, I think, uh... If I'm gonna hit the tree, I'm gonna try, uh... Maybe I didn't hit the tree. See, I had the right idea, at least. I've also no chipping for Eagle, but this is an easy birdie right here. I say this because I've been fucking up four, four feet putts, and, uh, we're in third place! So yeah, as long as we start birdieing some holes, we'll have, we'll have no we'll have, we'll have an easy time winning this. Let's just say. Oh shit! I'm gonna try that shot again. I know you can call this cheating, but um, I have an I have a different idea. That should go on the green. He said that was overshot, but um... Come on, go in, go in, go in, no! I haven't had good luck with that so far, but uh... That's an- we'll just- I'll just take the par. Alright, now Mario should start fucking up some holes. And the course map here is, uh, Baby Mario. So, um, I'm gonna hit around here. Actually, that's too risky. That's too much of a risky shot, so I'm gonna play it more safe. And, uh, yeah, we should- that's a much easier shot, so, um... That should go on the green. A little bit of a putt, but it's, uh, not a hard eagle. We should just take the birdie. It would have been nice to get the eagle, but at least we get a bird, an easy birdie. 
And we're up in uh, second place. So Mario doesn't look like he's screwing up, but he should start screwing up holes, let's just say. And we just wasted another one of our power shots. Don't go in the bunker. Don't, don't. Hundred five yards. Okay, not too bad. All right, we're gonna um get all the way because that that wind's going down. So a little bit of a hard putt though, but uh, it's doable at least. Oh yeah. Now it goes up. We're tied in the lead with Mario, so as long as we keep burning holes, we got this. Like I said, get the distance club. It definitely helps you throughout the rest of this game. Even if you get a bigger draw out of this, but thank God we didn't go in the bunker. We're almost out of power shots, though, but, uh... Let's try, um... Well, that's an easy par. We'll just take- we're in the lead- we're tied in the leads, we just take- we should just take the par. Though, um... Yeah, he's burning holes. Let's- we'll do this. That's a small ass screen. Mario should start fucking up because I think like minus nine is the minimum amount to win this, and we can birdie another hole. So yeah, we're back. We're, t we're tied in the lead again. So um, course map this time is uh, Koopa Troopa. I don't think that's a good shot. It's going right in the fucking water. Save trick time! Again, I really hate to use the save trick, but like, as long as it gets me, um... We're gonna have to just play it more safe with this one. I don't think I can really make that fairway. I would say this is overall as hard as Mario Open, but, um... Even though it plays the same music. Well, it, it plays the same music when you play Mario Open normally, but, um... Ah, uh, we should- we should really just take the par. Oh wait, oh that could've, if I hadn't gotten that a little low, I would've gone in, but uh, easy par right here. Mario's back in the lead, we have to get another birdie. Now we're almost out of power shots. All right, that's easy. That shot's e the shot's easy. Even if I fucked up the accuracy, it should go on the green at least. All right, that's an easy birdie. We cannot miss this birdie. We've been missing putts, but we should not miss this one. Thank God. And Mario's got ten under par, so yeah, we gotta start birdieing some holes. Unfortunately, though, I might have to start utilizing the save trick. Let's try. Let's let's go. Let's go more risky. You know, yeah, it worked this time. So, uh, yes. Yeah, so we're ten under par. If we can stay ten under par, we'll have a good shot at winning this. Let's go over here. We have one more power shot for hole 18. Don't go in the water, no! Okay, good. The 
It should go over the water. No. We're using the save trick. I cannot afford a bogey. You really can't in this tournament. But I have the right idea. Unfortunately, though, that is the last of our power shots. This is gonna go in the water either way, so it's more save trick. Save trick time! If it keeps us in the lead, I'll keep utilizing the save trick. I might just play more safe also. My instincts told me to use a power shot, and my instincts were right. It's either a chip in or an uh, easy birdie. Oh, almost a chip. Easy birdie right here. So, uh, yeah, we've essentially won this. But Mario's 10 under par, so, uh, yeah, we just can't get a bogey and we'll win this. Unfortunately, though, we're at a power shot, so. That's for the first and only time I'm probably gonna run out of power shots this playthrough. And a fuck. Yeah. We're in the semi rough at least, but uh. I'm gonna say I didn't hit it like this. Come on, go in, go in. Okay, no. Didn't go in. But that's an easy birdie, so we'll hit one we'll on a high note. And, who, what do you know, Mario did get a birdie, so, uh, yeah, that is the, uh, Mushroom Kingdom course, so, yeah, m you have to have 11 under par to win this, so, uh, yeah, you have to birdie a good, you can't afford a bogey in this, but, uh, so, yeah, that is the final of the tournaments. And we get two level ups. We get a draw. We're gonna have to go uh, impact and control, but um. So yeah, uh, I just gotta grab my phone. Sorry, I presented a trophy to kid for um winning Peach's tournament. Congratulations, kid. Alrighty, so that was Mario Golf with the Game Boy Color, and, uh, I had a lot of fun doing this playthrough, and, uh, even if I had to do all of that game again, but, uh, we don't really speak about that, but, uh... So basically, either way, I had fun doing this playthrough. It was a short playthrough, and, uh, there's only a few more things we really have to get, get, uh, out of the way, but, uh... But yeah, basically the gist of it is, uh... The only thing we really have to do is in the, uh, normal play mode, but, uh... There's a couple of si there's a few more side things we have to do, and uh, there's a few more match games. And now, and after that, we're gonna cover the uh, Game Boy Color transfer pack stuff, which uh, will be the grand finale, the bonus stuff. So, uh, yes, this is definitely. Uh, I definitely love the handheld Mario Golf games. I love the RPG elements. I just love the idea of raising your golfer to the top. So what we're gonna do, uh, So I just love that concept. Mario Golf Advance 2, I definitely feel does it well too. So uh, now I am gonna get to Mario Golf Total Tour eventually. It's only a matter of when I'm gonna do it. So uh, it's only a matter of when I'm gonna do it, but uh, Pretty much the gist of it is I'll get to Total Tour eventually. It'll be a when it's done kind of thing. But uh 
We're, we'll be smoothing along. We got some play. I got some plan playthroughs, but either way, we'll do a Toadstool Tour. I want to do the Toadstool Tour maybe like early next year. If I want to give like an estimated when, but like, um, the gist of it is we'll get the Toadstool Tour eventually. There's Sherry, actually, one of the Game Boy Color characters. <laughs> also, this credit sequence is also different depending on what character you use, but, um... I will say, when we do the Game Boy Color Transfer Pack stuff, I will show off the other Game Boy Color characters because I did practice playthroughs with all three other characters, so, um... I just chose Kid for the run because I felt it fits most in the Mario Golf canon, but, um... <laughs> but either way, the gist of it is, uh, oh, that thing. I forgot about that one. And, uh, yeah, so that's, we've, we've not only, uh, we've actually 100% this also, so what we're gonna do, um, is, uh, the next playthrough, um, is Super Luigi Galaxy won the fan boat, so that's gonna be the next playthrough, and, uh, unfortunately, though, even though I played, I played Mario Galaxy many, many times, I have not practiced it, but, uh, I played it in the past year or so, so I should at least, oh, there's the genius cutscene, but, um, And there's the Mushroom Kingdom, and, uh, yeah. I don't really have much left to say about this about this uh, playthrough, but I've just really enjoyed how it turned out. Except for a couple of videos where the mix was pretty bad, and, uh, on top of that, I had to replay all that game again, the normal game again, and, uh, I really liked how this playthrough turned out. I honestly think I liked it more how, than how the 64 playthrough turned out, because, like, the 64 playthrough, I didn't have as much a, a good a mic, and on top of that, uh... On top of that, there were some uh, pretty bad videos I have in that playthrough, but uh, I personally cannot wait to get to Toadstool Tour because when I get to that, that's the Mario Golf game I am most familiar with. Like, I grew up in the GameCube era and I, I played the shit out of that game as a kid. All right, so that is Camelot, developed by Camelot and published by Nintendo, and uh, that is the end with Mario and Luigi. However, we all, we have a few more things left we have to do. Next time on Mario Golf for the Game Boy Color, we're gonna play a match game. You might be wondering it's who. Now, we have these three match games we can play, Luigi, Mario, and Wario. We'll do those in future videos, but, uh, see you guys then, because next time on Mario Golf the Game Boy Color, we'll be doing Luigi. See you guys then. God, that last comment sounded wrong.